of the people in the UK call this a jumper. I love coordinating. There's nothing that makes me happier. And that's what's in my gym bag. Did you know that you can talk if you're hosting parties so anxious? They're jumping together. nearby me I, I feel like i'm always in need of finding a new nail shop but obviously now it's because i am in a new location now i don't need my nails done my nails were just done uh not too long ago oh i just spit on the mirror i had a little bit of hair in my mouth it, ignore me okay sometimes i just we having some little moments but anyways <laughs> So I'm just getting ready real quick to go there. Nothing serious because literally I'm just going to the nail salon. Hold on, let me talk to you after I finish my brows. I, I don't know why I thought I could multitask like that. I'm crazy. Okay, I'm gonna walk and talk to y'all at the same time um, because I need to get my clothes for the day. Don't look in here, it's dirty. I mean, you have to, but it's not clean right now. And that is because I clean on Sundays, not Saturdays. It is Saturday right now. And that is not my cleaning day. Um, because you know, on Sunday, you gotta do it like your grandma did. You gotta, well, actually, I don't even know if my grandma did this, but I hear this is what people's grandmas do, is they put on the old school music, which that's literally me every day. Um, but they put on the old school music and they just go to town with cleaning. We'll do that tomorrow, um, but not today. Where are my sweatpants at? Where are they at? Because that's, that's the most we're about to get out of me for this little this little rendezvous come on that's all i feel like wearing i don't feel like wearing anything else i might have to go with the cream look today and i don't want to wear it again like i do but like people gonna be knowing me as the girl that's got on this this beige little outfit <laughs> i don't want to be known as that girl um but i'm just gonna wear it anyway because it's what i can find and it's super cozy okay it's nothing absolutely fabulous and fancy but this is what i'm wearing uh the set is from airy it's not a set i don't know why i call it that i'm just wearing it as one and then i have these as well that i got from a, another trip to marshall's um it has little studs on it so of course you know when you get your toes done you need to have the option of a shoe that's not enclosed although my toes are busted right now and just in case somebody looks at my feet on the way there i'm driving but still somebody can see my feet in the parking lot so i'm gonna put these socks on with the birkenstocks till further they're not birkenstocks don't be glad y'all they're just i don't know what they are they're cute um till further notice so nobody makes fun of me um let's see is this good enough this is what the hair is given i've had the hair not the I say this like this is a weed. Um, I've had the hair. Um, my hair has been like this for, I think we're going on two weeks in a couple of days, like in a few days. So she's hanging in there. 
I'm trying to keep flat irons out of her, so the heatless methods, they're not quite as good, especially since I can't find my favorite method. It's the roller is lost somewhere in my apartment. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I've been having to do the little beer. The uh, Velcro ones. Um, this is what I'm wearing to the nail shop. Just wanted to show y'all real quick before I head out. Super comfy. Also cute. I feel like I'm wearing pajamas. All right. I really came on here full speed ahead over the weekend, acting like I was about to be vlogging all weekend. Why did I, why did I do that? Like the whole entire week, I just had so many social outings. Like since I think I just had too much dip on my chip. Okay. Like you guys know, I've gotten a lot of my stuff moved out of the boxes in my apartment and i guess with all of that being settled i guess i just thought i was all the way settled in and i just had so many social outings like in the past week like i want to say like four in the middle of the week and on the weekend as well um so yeah it was safe to say that even though i planned to vlog over the weekend it was just not in my best interest like i really needed the reset day that i had yesterday i would say yesterday was like my first full like chill relaxing cleaning my apartment day like you guys know those days i used to have where i would like uh light some candles throughout the day just clean everything and then make myself dinner at night and just chill that is the kind of day i had yesterday and it was absolutely necessary because i felt like i needed that reset to be able to enter this week but i'm not even gonna lie even still today the monday is hitting harder than it normally hits it usually don't be hitting this hard okay um but let's let's actually go sit on the couch because i don't want to do all this standing okay but anyways i did want to make it a point to come on here and just thank you guys in general because i'm overall like i feel like i thank god probably at least it, at least a few times a week it should be every day but at least a few times a week but it's only every once in a while that i come on here and like verbally say my thank you so i do want to make sure that i do that because when I tell y'all, I brag about y'all, okay? I was actually just talking about this the other day to one of my friends, and I was just sharing that I like YouTube the most and the reasonings behind it, but pretty much overall, I feel like I'm able to be myself the most over here, and it's probably because y'all let me do long-form content. You know on every other social media, it's like, you better give us 10 seconds and get out of here, but here, y'all don't mind. In fact, y'all ask for longer, and I'm just so grateful for that, but like the love that y'all give me, the understanding y'all just let me be myself like i feel like i don't know if you've noticed but these last couple of months of me filming i feel like i've been more myself than probably ever on this channel uh, and that's just because of like the community i'm someone i don't want to jinx myself but compared to what i see other youtubers deal with other social media personalities deal with I feel like I have a really good audience like y'all are helpful y'all are nice y'all are supportive I don't get too much hate there was an era where I got quite a little bit and like I just wouldn't read my comments like that but now I actually feel like my comments are a safer place so I just thank you guys for being considerate of me uh, what word was that <laughs> considerate of me and yeah just support it like even my last sponsorship that i did on youtube i asked you guys to go support it even though i know you guys want to see like the vlogs and things and everybody may not have like the interest in what i'm doing with my hair but it was a sponsorship and so i asked y'all to like ride out go support it because it is still important that i get my coins because every video i make is not sponsored um and y'all actually did it like i just want to say thank you i know i said thank you in the comments but i want to say it again for everybody else to hear so everybody knows i'm grateful for you guys okay because it's it's more than just that like even on my regular videos you guys liking you guys commenting i just appreciate that like not to be good she but i mean it's apparent literally i wouldn't be able to do this move i wouldn't be able to be in this apartment like i have to look around sometimes and just be like wow like i literally created this job but not only did i create this job you guys like support it you know so i really appreciate that so i do try to come on here and show you guys things that you want to see because i will admit like i feel like money wise out of all my platforms my tiktok surprisingly actually makes the most money but i was just talking to my mom the other day i was like i really i really want to focus on my tiktok and grow it more because of how much money it already makes me if i like if i actually put in the effort and the work and the time that i should be putting into tiktok 
I don't even like I can't even imagine how much money it would actually make me so it's just been kind of a more recent goal of mine to actually put more time over there but with that being said that does not mean I'm leaving over here because I know that is a big thing like a lot of y'all probably say the same thing my mama say like she's always complaining there's nothing to watch on YouTube because I guess everybody went over to TikTok but I literally cannot leave YouTube because it's like my safe space. It's the part of my job that I actually really enjoy, that I actually really love. Like if I, I feel like if I took it away and only focused on every other social media platform, it'd be cool. I don't feel like I would actually like really many aspects of my job. And that's something that's important to me. You guys know that I, when it comes to career, I'm going to do what I enjoy doing. Like I'm always going to pick enjoyability over anything so yeah i can't leave from up here i mean it still makes me money like don't get me wrong but would it be smarter to put more time into tiktok probably but would i enjoy my job as much as i do probably not so that's just because of you guys um but with that being said if y'all want to follow me on tiktok you definitely can do that because i am i'm trying to make it a thing where i post over there like at least five times a week i'm telling myself i only get two days to skip and I can post five times a week. So speaking of, I feel like you guys get to see a lot of things first just because it's low-key easier to show up on YouTube first and not not even like on an editing level because it definitely takes way longer to edit over here, but just in the pure fact that I feel like I can come over here, no makeup, like this half my pajamas and lounge where like I look crazy right now. I feel like I can just kind of be my chill self and it just, it doesn't take all that to show you guys what I need to show you, you know? Um, so with that being said, I have some new stuff to show y'all. Um, all of these that I'm about to show you actually are things that I just bought myself. So these are a few packages here. Um, we've got like some cute little dresses if you guys are looking for some good essential dresses. And then, um, I have you guys a fave. I wasn't going to show y'all this stuff because I didn't want to like zara you guys out now i'm kind of just like okay i have it so like why not just try it on and show you i actually want to i think try all these on in the mirror so you can see it full body and i don't have to stress myself out so give me a second all right now first things first i am gonna go ahead and show y'all this because i don't have to try this on and it's just easy but i was on the fence okay i was on the fence of not buying a new gym bag because your girl definitely needed a new gym bag like let me show you my old gym bag before i even show you the new one <laughs> this is my old gym bag i mean probably on camera it may not look that bad but trust me it is not great like if you look really closely there's like peeling on the handle it's just one of those little I think it's called Nicole Miller um, <laughs> gym bags. I want to say from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something from years ago, which hits why it's peeling. But anyways, like it's been getting the the little fabric on my um, gym clothes, and I didn't like that. So we could be messing up any gym clothes. And plus, I just had it for so long. I was like, girl, it is time to upgrade. So I did a thing. I bought probably one of the most expensive gym bags that you could get it's not let me not be dramatic okay but i feel like for gym bags you you think they don't cost that much but if you get this gym bag you're gonna spend a little more but i personally feel like it was worth it i wasn't sure until it got here but this is absolutely giving exactly what it needed to have gave. so i went ahead and actually invested in the aloe um little duffel bag i will link all of this stuff down below um, but they have a couple of versions of this one but i like this one because i feel like it's the perfect size the other one i feel like it was just too big like it was just too dramatic but this one's gonna fit everything that i actually need for the gym like i do a lot of glute bridges obviously because we trying to get the you know but anyways i need my little uh bar protector pad so i knew whatever bag i got needed to just be big enough to fit that and i'm sure that's gonna fit in there because this is like the same size as my old gym bag and the old gym bag fit all my stuff um but what i like about this one i researched on the internet i was trying to find the perfect one like i feel like they make a lot of the gym bags look like super masculine or just super like 
they're just not really updating gym bags like that like i feel like it's 2023 we can do cuter gym bags now like why y'all still making them like y'all did 10 years ago so i just had a really hard time finding one that i liked that just wasn't doing too much but was also chill you know so i feel like this one was perfect but anyways obviously it's from aloe and it's like this really nice black sleek look which is what i like like all the other ones i feel like they just had a lot going on like i don't like all the extra stuff i wanted just the nice sleek look like i feel like even though this is a gym bag like it's low-key giving that sean you know but the way that i i made peace with buying this bag because you know, you only go to the gym so much i mean i go like up to five times a week and i felt like that was worth it but i also felt like i needed another reason to have it so i feel like it's a really good size to you know you can use it as a spinning night bag if y'all are into that um you also can use it as a travel bag which is really good i personally have a travel bag that's specifically for that but i also like this one because my travel bag is like double this size so sometimes you're not going anywhere that serious and you don't need like the really huge one. So I like the fact that this one is like a smaller compact size. But y'all, she's sleek. What do y'all think? I cannot wait to go to the gym with this. I'm not even gonna lie. I, I was very apprehensive about the gym today. I knew I was gonna go, but I wasn't excited about it. But I might be excited just so I can go in there with this. Y'all see me. Y'all see the little aloe duffel bag. Come on. She's not playing. Don't play with her. But yeah, that was definitely an update. I need it really badly. Um, but anyway. Whoa, whoa. That was that was a lot. You did a lot. That's the only thing about this apartment. Like it really doesn't bother me. But if I'm filming, I feel like it's loud for you guys when things like that happen. So it's like Can y'all not? It's just it's just never that serious. Um anyways i don't know what i should start with should i break this up because i have a lot of the same thing in here but in different variations and i'm telling you you need all the variation i might just go ahead and start with the zara stuff that way um you'll see you'll see why um, i actually have not tried on any of this except for the bottoms um but all the tops nope so this will be first impression for these things but first we're going to start off a lot of these things are just essentials that I needed, uh, apparently in my closet. But we're gonna start off with this little sweater. <laughs> She's so cute, okay? Um, so as you can see, it's just like this little, let me, let me tuck this so you can see the details. But it's just like this little white sweater. But not only, it's not just any white sweater slash cardigan or whatever. You guys know I had to have a little something on there. A little, a little razzle dazzle. And look at it. You can see the little pearl cluster buttons. I think that is absolutely so stunning. So, so cute. But yeah, this is just going to be really cute for fall. Um, I think, should I hold up and then try on? I think that's what I'll do to make things flow faster. Because if not, this is going to take way too long. Um... And then, so bottom wise, this is what I was talking about. I got this little plaid, not plaid, girl, this is not plaid, <laughs> pinstripe, the other P word, there we go. I got this little pinstripe skirt. I don't know if you can see it well, but anyways, the color is like a chocolate brown, which is why I liked it. I didn't really want it to just be like a little black mini skirt, but also to make it more interesting, not only is it chocolate brown, but it has like these little... Can you see that like little blue pinstripes she's super cute like i feel like this is so preppy so cute i already have an outfit in my head on how i want to wear this probably this week because i won't have too much longer well actually i'm forgetting where i am i am in georgia now it's hot i probably do have quite a bit longer to wear this but i literally can't wait so i'm gonna wear her asap um and this is another item that i felt like was definitely missing from my closet like i definitely needed this right here as you guys know where i just came from i had a lot of heavy coats and a lot of like just things that are essential for when it's cold outside because obviously it was very cold up there like literally we were getting in the negatives at some point here i just know we're not about to see the negatives but then again i think uh atlanta it, it runs kind of cooler around here because it's like further up north than where i'm from um, but I went ahead and just got this lighter weight jacket because I'm still going to need some type of layer because like I said, it's kind of cool around here. Like even now, not today because I think it's like 70 degrees, 
but on some days i do want a light layer and i felt like this bomber jacket was a really good way to do it like look at her and then also i didn't have anything like this like i feel like the way I shopped before, I definitely would have bought this in black, but you definitely need more variations than just black things. Like, I mean, black, trust me, as you're about to find out as I unbox some of these other things, black is just the creme de la creme. It's the best way to look put together, but sometimes you want different variations, and the cousin of black is gray, so why not do like a little gray bomber? But yeah, she's really, really cute. I just think this is going to be... A really cute way for me to layer up here's the last thing that i got this is a thing i'm not i'm not so sure about for a couple of reasons but i'll show it to you and i'll even show it to you on but honestly this sweater was not the color that i thought it would be like it's red don't get me wrong i'm not sure if it's showing up on the camera exactly how it is in person but number one it was quite it was quite the decision to even pull the trigger on the sweater anyways because i'm not really a red girl like i like red accents but i don't like red like entire clothing articles um but i was like you know what we're gonna give it a shot and it's funny because i actually ordered this before i knew that cherry red or whatever was gonna be like a huge little situation for the fall and the winter um the reason why it took me so long to show you guys is because they lost my first order so they had to send it to me again finally i got my order and this was much brighter than i expected it to be and i also thought you know i already am not a big red fan and i already have a red cardigan and you guys let me know what you think but for me personally i'm not so sure about the sweater like at, at this rate right now based off of my own decision like she she's going back but we're, we're i'm gonna show y'all though hold on i'm gonna drop it on over this I hope you guys don't mind me being in my sweatpants. It's just really comfortable, okay? Mm. Alright, so this is what the red little... I feel like the people in the UK call this a jumper. This is what the jumper is giving. <laughs> so unserious. Anyways. I wonder why they call it that. Because over here we'd be like, sweater. This little sweater. But I feel like this is more of a pullover. Um, or at least that's what I call it. I feel like the fit on it is great. Like, I love how it fits. It has a gorgeous fit. Don't let me convince myself into this. Hold on. Because why does it look good with sweatpants? Uh-uh. No. 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 Because the last time I put this on, I didn't try it on in natural light. Okay? That's my reasoning. For now, almost kind of liking the sweater. Y'all, be honest. What do y'all think about the sweater? Because by the time I post this, I'll still have the sweater. It won't have made it back to the store yet. So now, look in the mirror. Uh, it's. I feel like Princess Diana. Oh man, what should I do? But what I do like about it, if you are interested in getting it, is it it has a really nice fit and like the thickness of it, the softness of it, is actually really really nice. But I just don't know. I don't know if I'm going to wear it. That's the issue. And I really want to keep things that I know I'm gonna wear but now I'm kind of looking at it in like a chill through a chill lens like I think before I was looking at it through like are you gonna dress up and wear this and I was like no but now I'm looking at it like this and I'm like oh I love a pullover for just walking out the house and throwing on some sneakers and like a little mini bag and sunglasses and I feel like this really pulls that look off <laughs> this is what the back looks like <sighs> I've gotten myself into a little dilemma. She's a little dramatic. It's okay. Um, so this is what the gray bomber looks like on. I actually don't even know. I have to get closer to see this. What do you guys think about this one? I think this one's cute. It's like really sporty, really chill. You guys know I love my little boyish looks. And I feel like this bomber does that. Like I like the kind of masculine shape that it has. It definitely puts me in the mind of like those old vintage bombers that you find but I can never find in my size. So it's nice to have one that actually like is not flooding me and looks really sleek. I even like it with the little bra moment. Sorry I had to go and look in the mirror. Yeah I think this one's definitely gonna be a keep. I feel like I could do a lot with this one. Y'all I'm just so mad because <laughs> Which I'll be mad if I drop like a fall essentials video like within the next couple weeks. Would y'all would that make y'all upset? Okay. Y'all I have always loved a good little schoolgirl outfit ever since I can remember. Ugh. 
it's just something about it. It's just really cute. I don't know if this looks right together. Hold on. No, that probably actually looks really weird because of the little part where the sweater is. But if it was like this, I could do it. And it doesn't even need to be cropped. It just looks weird with that little split. But the split comes in handy for if you're going to wear it with like something like baggy jeans or something like that. Like that way you could see like the details on your jeans or like your trousers or whatever. With this skirt, it's just a little strange. Now, one thing I will say, this sweater is hot. So it's going to come in handy for, like I said, the cooler days outside. I love the color of it. And just here's like a little closer look at the details of the little um, buttons on it. But you can, of course, wear the cardigan open. I just didn't feel like opening the buttons up. I just slipped it over my head. Um, and then this is a little black skirt. Oh, y'all thought I was probably done with mini skirts, huh? I'm thinking of wearing it like with something like black knee high boots. I think that would be really cute. If I do that outfit this week, I definitely will try and show it to y'all. But. I think both of these pieces are definitely really good pieces. Just maybe not together. I would suggest you separating them. But for the sake of having on a top and bottom. Pause the music. Okay. So I actually figured out how I'm going to edit this. So if you're like, you said... Yeah, I'm just going to put whatever I'm showing you guys next to the try-on. That way, you know, it's more together. I think y'all will appreciate that more. But the reason I like to show you guys this stuff off too is because for some reason, when you put the actual things on, it's like you forget everything you wanted to say. I think I take my own breath away is what happens when I put the clothes on. And then I forget the actual things that I want to say about the clothing article. So that's why I have to talk about it before I put it on because if I don't all you're gonna hear me say is it's giving it's giving and that's that's all you're gonna get out of me let's go into this bag first because we got a couple of dresses so I'm trying to get in my little black dress bag I originally thought that I was only going to buy one little black dress and then I was like well Jordan <laughs> I'm in the era of picking out my signature things right now and I think I just want to make all forms of black dresses like my signature because I love black clearly okay and I just think it's so chic and the thing I love about black the most is it's not noticeable when you re-wear it okay so I feel like a lot of us can be very guilty of getting dresses and you wear them one and done you never wear it again especially when it's a, like a print or really colorful so that's the beautiful thing about a black dress no matter what it looks like there's a good chance that you will be able to pull it off sooner than later of wearing it again like we don't have a problem with wearing but you also don't want to be like dang she loves that dress like, and nobody's gonna say that to you when you're wearing a little black dress so the first thing we're starting off with this is actually a different variation and i'm actually kind of upset because not upset i'm not upset I'm very happy, but I did get the little black dress that I told you guys that I've been pining for. I don't know if I'm going to get it while this vlog goes on, but um, if I do, I'll show it to you. And if not, it's worth the show in the next video. Like, it's just too, too good, okay? Like, anyways, so I did go ahead and get this little black dress right here. Um, and I'm just doing a whole bunch of different variations. So the one that I have on the way is like a plain variation and I have another one that's kind of plain that I'm going to show you. But this one as you can see has like a little type of lacy material. Now I will say it is more sheer than I thought. I didn't think it was going to be this sheer but she is a little, she's a little scandy okay. I still like it because I feel like this is definitely a dress you could throw like a blazer on top of or a long coat which I have one of those to show y'all too. But yeah, she's really cute. The only drawback with this one I remember of when I put this on, I think it's a little big on me. So if it is still in stock, I almost would recommend maybe, unless you're just like super curvy, maybe going down a size if you wanted to fit fit, uh, if a going down a size is available. Okay, one thing I will say about this one while I have it on, it's really comfortable like it almost feels like you have nothing on like it's really like a lightweight dress um but this is what it looks like as you can see like it's a little bigger than i would want it to be like i would have wanted it you know like this you know maybe maybe she'll get a little thicker i don't know but 
it's giving me room to grow but it's still a really cute dress if anything i would say it just makes it a little bit more modest if that's what you want to go for then just go for your size um but anyways it has like this little keyhole on it right here the little buckle i did want to get really close so you can see that it is like a little sheer like i'm not going to go all the way up my you know um, but you can see that that's like sheer right there um, But the lace really does help like distract away from it So if you wear something like black underwear underneath you should be fine um, But it does show a little bit more, but yes, yeah, she is super Duper cute. I love her y'all are gonna have to let me know what your favorite piece is I'll let you guys know what mine is this one is not it, but it's it's pretty good Okay, so we got another little black dress this one's not as little because it's long, so I'm not even sure if people refer to maxi dresses as little black dresses. Um, but I, that's what we're calling it today, so it's okay. With me buying all these, I am manifesting my old Chicago life, but in Atlanta. You guys know I used to go to events and things, and I'm trying to get back to that. So this is me speaking that into the air, that when I buy my event dresses, I'm actually going to get started. <laughs> getting invited to events again that's the only drawback about moving as like a influencer slash content creator is putting your name on the map in the city that you're in because i'm still getting invites for chicago and i'm like can somebody in atlanta invite me somewhere because i'm not in chicago anymore but anyway so this is the maxi dress that i have you'll be able to see the full length when i put it on in the mirror but she's giving you guys know i love a little blackout blackout i mean it is blackout but back out moment uh, and so it gives that, and then it also has this little area to show off the girl. This will be especially cute if you are like more busty, like it's really going to give on you. And I absolutely love like the little lace trim that it has on the top. Y'all, this dress, now this dress is a little more extra because not only like is it like a satin lace bustier dress, but it literally is like floor length. So yeah, she's extra, but when I tell you she is a moment, and y'all know I don't mind overdressing, so I don't even care. Like, the first opportunity I get to wear this, I'm going to jump at it. Okay, I feel like this dress is definitely giving, like, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Like, the dress that Angelina Jolie wears on the cover of the movie. I feel like this is that dress. I mean, it's a little different, obviously, but it just puts me in the mind of it. But yeah, it's just like a long maxi, and it's got, like, the deep slit. She's very, very flattering. Like, I am gonna have to steam it because one thing I hate, I cannot go out in a material dress like this and it's not steamed because it like kind of cheapens the look. So don't mind the wrinkles, okay? Um, obviously I'm not gonna have like a, that little long wrinkle right there because then it gets pillowcase and we don't like that. But as I come closer, you can see like the little extra details that it has right here. I like that the bust part is like all lace and then it has like that little bit of lace that goes over the top. Like just small little subtle things that just really add to the look. And then in the back, you can see that it does give you like a little bit of a back out moment. She is so, so cute. But this is what it looks like. Oh! Okay, we're going to shake it up a bit and switch from dresses, although I do have one more dress to show you, but it's my favorite, so I figured we saved the best for last. But now I want to show you um, some outerwear. It's like this jacket that I got from Oak and Fort. Uh, I kept seeing like Instagram recommend it to me, and I've been needing a, a new trench coat because I got rid of a couple of my, like, I don't know if you want to call them trench coats, but they're like my nice tailored coats. I got rid of like a couple that I've had for a few years because honestly I just wasn't feeling the length of them like I wanted some that not dragged the ground but it just felt I felt like a child again and my little you know when you're younger and you have the little pea coats that's what I felt like in those jackets so I just wanted a longer one to kind of just make it more chic and I was worried uh, about it being like a cheap feel or something like that because I just wasn't sure I could not be further away from from that okay like the quality on this jacket is absolutely amazing this is a very heavy trench coat and not in the way like it's heavy like it needs to be dramatically cold outside but in the way like it's a really good quality trench coat they do have different colors and variations uh, so if you don't want a black one I think there was like a tan a green maybe a gray and by green i mean like olive green like the traditional trench coat color but i wanted black because 
I wear a lot of black and I didn't have like a black duster slash trench coat. But yeah, I was just super impressed with the quality of it. If I was to get another color, I would get this same trench coat again because I just love the fit of it as well. I did more so get this jacket for casual days, but I did want to show you what it looks like on with heels like lengthwise because I do feel like that's important if you're going to wear this jacket for something like that. Um, for the most part, I won't be wearing heels when I wear this jacket, but I just wanted to show you where it falls at but while i do have this on i will say if you are planning like on going out or doing whatever you be doing and like cute little dresses one thing you do need to make sure you get is like a nice little coat like something like this that you can put on because let me tell you i think ever since college like my biggest pet peeve was always like seeing the girls heading out and they got on like their club dress. This is next to wearing a club dress with an Apple Watch. A big pet peeve of mine was seeing like a little club dress on with like just a coat that does not go. Like it's like some random jacket, okay? Like I'm trying to think of an example. Like, like let's say you go out in a puffer coat. Some people will do it, I've seen it. And you can do whatever you want. I'm not here to tell anybody what to do. I'm just saying if you are going for a more polished like my look is put together i know that you are just trying to head to the venue and like keep warm and if it's super cold you know forget it but if it is not too cold you can just do something like this just to make sure like your look is still put together and you didn't just throw on like a puffer coat on top of your little dress okay at this age at our big age we can't be doing that no more okay so this is the length of the jacket without heels just for reference i am five foot six if you're trying to figure out like how tall i am so yeah it gives like a little bit of ankle room which is fine like again we don't want it really dusting the ground because the ground is dirty um but yeah it's a good nice size uh, trench and then let me hold on Okay, so I feel like it is even nicer belted because you can actually see like the shape that it gives and we love a little hourglass silhouette. But I'm planning on wearing this with, like I said, much more casual outfits. So I think it's going to be really cute when I throw on like my trousers and my jeans and like loafers or sneakers, whatever. I feel like there's so much you can do with like a trench coat like this. This is definitely like a jacket I would get if I was starting like a fall wardrobe off from scratch. You can never go wrong with a trench coat. Okay, and last but definitely not least, because wait till y'all see me in this dress. <laughs> so remember when I said just a few minutes ago that I'm doing like black dresses as my signature? So when I first got this one, or when I first saw it, I wasn't too sure. So y'all gotta hear me out because when I hold it up, y'all gonna be like, baby, you cannot go out in that. Baby, you need to cover up, but I'm telling you, I can't, okay? I didn't think so either, and then I put it on, and I'm telling tell you why. But this is the dress, and I know you're thinking, girl, that's lingerie. And I thought the same thing when I pulled it out. So this is actually uh, a Skims dress. So I guess you could say people wear it as lingerie, but to be honest, it's a little too, like, covered and long, personally to me, to be trying to term it as lingerie. Uh, so that's why I think it's bearable for outside, but I do have read some recommendations on how to make it more appropriate um, But anyways, this is what it looks like. So it does not look like much fabric off. Okay, but <laughs> It is super duper stretchy as you can imagine like I don't know if it's gonna show right here But I'll put it on but I just love the little detail right here This little flower detail is what really got me so it has like the cups the lining right here but the little flower detail what it puts me in the mind of is kind of like the 90s little black dress like i'm imagining this picture that i've seen of naomi campbell in like a little black dress in the 90s which you guys know naomi campbell in the 90s i mean she's still that girl but she was like top tier in the 90s and that's what i'm trying to give like that is an aesthetic that i've been really really appreciating in the last few months and I felt like this would definitely add to that style that I'm trying to pull off. Like the 90s off-duty model, you cannot go wrong. Because it's basically just a whole bunch of classics. And what's more classic than a little black dress? So yeah, I had to get this. I didn't think I was going to end up keeping it until I put it on. So let's put it on. Okay, so I'm actually really mad at myself for trapping myself and putting this outfit on. Because this is the type of dress you put it on in the comfort of your own home and you're going to want to play music and just 
walk around and dance around like <laughs> i've been doing that for the last five minutes and yeah it's a big distraction it's a it's a major distraction but as you can see like the dress is longer and more covered than you would assume like i feel like it's kind of given like one of those house of cb structured dresses it doesn't have all that lining that they have but because it's so like form fitting it kind of gives that like giving curves and stuff like that i just love this dress like i feel super confident in it if in fact like i'm highly motivated now to go to the gym because it's like when you wear a dress like this you gotta give legs and so like we gotta go work on those legs for when i wear this dress but this is what it looks like up close hold on let me loop let me move my peanut butter um <laughs> my peanut butter crackers box because that's really throwing me off anyways um this is what it looks like up close so yeah it's very very form fitting it's got kind of like this little satin look very structured right here she's so cute and one thing I really love are the straps like I just love how thick they are and then you guys know I'm really here for the little flower detail like you see what I mean about like the 90s-esque-ness that this is giving like this is what the back looks like the legs are on display like I feel like that Spongebob episode where he had, where he had his legs just all out um but yeah this is what the dress looks like it's so cute but let me show you how i would cover it up just a little bit not to get into too much styling but you know when i have an idea i kind of have to show y'all while it's on my mind so in my head this is actually like sort of how i would wear it i definitely throw like a blazer over my shoulders preferably like a more masculine blazer to kind of mix it up with like the feminineness and the tightness of this dress um but yeah i just think it's really cute like this and then also you really just don't want to go outside like full blown nothing on top of this i feel like this is very much like have this on fine but have it on when you get inside the venue go the trench coat route with like the one that i just showed you but yeah that's just a little thought okay, i'm getting ready to go to the gym so i'm trying to get my little outfit together because it's a special day because i get to wear my new gym bag um so we're going to hold on let me see if i can move y'all back a little bit just just a todd wear this little cranberry set isn't she cute i feel like it's really giving fall and it matches the nails see see we love that i love coordinating there's nothing that makes me happier um and we're gonna just wear my favorite go-to anina bing set on top um i'm being a little extra today because i'm gonna go to the grocery store afterwards because your girl has zero grocery and i want to be able to make dinner tonight something quick and simple but still and i just don't want to wear my gym outfit to where i'm going or to the grocery store afterwards because yeah it's not really the place for the cheeks to be out um but this is what it looks like it still looks really cute even when i leave it kind of open the only thing i don't really want to show the leggings but i don't really know how to get around that oh we're a little linty don't really know how to get around that but as y'all can see i don't know if i've given y'all any updates on my closet but for the most part i've pretty much filled it up i'll just give you guys a quick glance i'm not gonna do it's not big enough for like a like a video like here's a tour but like i will still do like a video of how i organized it when i'm done i'm not done though but as you can see like we got clothes everywhere y'all i mean there's clothes all the cut back here they're everywhere okay um i'm not done like you can see some up there um but this is the area that i really want to work on up here and that's probably when my closet will actually look just more put together and pristine and yeah whenever i get that done then i will show y'all because then it'll be cleaner because that's just gonna when i get this covered it's gonna be a lot easier to organize you feel me um but let's see I was about to say what shoes should I wear, but it's leg day, so I'm going to need to just wear Converse by default. I'm going to have to wear Converse by default, but I really don't want to wear Converse with this outfit. Not when I go to the grocery store. Do I own, like, mostly black sneakers? I feel like I do. If I can figure out where they would be at, they might be up here. Ooh. No, they are not up here. <sighs> They might be in there. Okay, I figured out what I'm gonna do. It's between the Samba and the, um, what you call it? 
the dump. I think I'm leaning towards the song because it just looks more laid back and not like too matchy matchy. So I don't really like that vibe. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's cute. That's cute. Look, if you're wondering, looks like that. <laughs> Alright, that's what we're gonna go with. I actually don't mind the little band now. Now that I have like a shoe on because I don't know where the other one is. Ugh. Let me transfer my stuff out of my old gym bag. This is the past. This is the present and the future. Okay. Oh, that just looks so much better. Look at this. The comparison. Oh my gosh. So much better. We're going to see if everything fits. I'm pretty sure it will because like it looks about the same size to me. Hold on, let me back y'all up. I feel like this is low key. Uh, what's in my gym bag? Plastic. see so i have my converse the only thing i know some people are really particular about shoes touching everything which i get it's sad to say i don't care that much but I'm, I'm just putting that out there that i don't think there's a shoe compartment for people that like their shoes separated um i just don't care personally you'll probably just get a bag though and keep your shoes in it but i'm just put mine in the bottom that'll be all right a little dirt don't hurt nobody um then I have my bar pad and then um, the little, what you call it, the bands inside of here. So that should fit pretty well. Yep, there we go. Um, another band. Backup one. Let's see. My ankle. I don't know what to call these things, but you know the things you put around your ankle and then attach to the cable machine. So you can do like boot kickbacks and stuff like that. That, um, my backup fragrance because um, I like to smell pretty decent all the time at least. And yeah, this is just from Target. It's like a little, like a coconut vanilla scent, something like that. Um, let's see, backup aluminum deodorant. I will say with the new deodorant I've been using, I've been pretty good, but I just keep this in my gym bag since I am, did I say aluminum deodorant? I meant to say aluminum free. But I keep this in my gym bag because since I have went aluminum free, you just never know. But I will say it's been, I've been doing pretty good. Um, let's see. Which I'm not even sure if I've updated you guys on the one, the aluminum free deodorant I'm using. So if not, I'll have to do that. Where are the rest of my sheets? That reminds me, I need to bring my notepad. Then my little hand protectors for calluses and stuff. I try to wear these, but I'm not gonna lie. A lot of times I don't wear them just cause, I don't know, it just be feeling mad extra. Summer Fridays, of course. I think most of y'all have found out by now this is basically crack. It's not a cheap lip balm, but she worth it. My lock for the gym, which my sister finds amusing that I have a lock. Apparently, she, she said, that's so cute that you lock your gym locker. And I'm just like, what's cute about that? Like. My wallet isn't here. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Like, when she laughed at me, I was low-key embarrassed. Like, not you gaslighting me into being embarrassed for keeping, like, a safety precaution on my locker. I typically plan my uh, workout for the gym before I even go. That way, I just don't have to worry about sitting down and doing it. So, I'll do that in a second. But, uh, this is what my notepad looks like. So, I got this from Women's Best. And as you can see, like, on the left, that's all the different workouts that I do. Um... So yeah, it's just handy to keep that on hand. I don't know if many people record their workouts, but it's just something my dad taught me when he taught me like how to weight lift when I was in ninth grade. Um, so ever since then, I have been documenting like my workouts when I go because that's just how he taught me to do it. Um, yeah, and that's what's in my gym bag. And these are the gym vibes for the day. I'm loving like the little cranberry and black look. Like this gym bag is everything. So cute. Like I just feel so much more put together like this.
person that I knew in New York. Happy Tuesday, you guys. I've been up for a while, obviously. Um, why did I say obviously? You don't even know what time it is. It's like afternoon. And I did not bring myself to put myself in a car and ride down the street to the gym for an upper body day. When we got hella upper body equipment here. I feel like I can't really do leg day workouts here, but I do feel like I can do upper body here. And plus it's quicker. And then I also do abs on upper body day. So yeah, we've got everything, at least for that. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get all this lint off of me. I'm getting ready to take my hair down. And I put the camera on because I want y'all to see it if it turns out good. If it doesn't turn out good, then, you know, it's a waste of recording. But I'm just trying to find different methods to uh, heatless curl my hair. I like the flexi rod method, but I really want it to go for more of like the, you know, bangs, like accentuated. Not that I have bangs, but you know, like the bang effect where it waves out and stuff like that. Um, I'm really trying to go for that look and I keep seeing girls get it accomplished with the little sock um, hair method or whatever so that's what you see in my head right now so we're gonna try and take it down and see what it's talking about um this is actually my second attempt at it i feel like last night maybe i didn't do it i mean not last night the night before maybe i didn't do it tight enough because it was it worked a little bit but it wasn't super super curled but also maybe my hair needs to be more curled to make it work so we're going to see what this is talking about. Let's see. Okay. I don't know what that's giving. So when we shake it out, we'll figure it out. Um, so here's the front. This is really going to be telling. Please work. Please work. It's got a little bit of a bend to it. It's not exactly as much as I want it to be. Let's shake it out. That's why I miss my little heatless curler that you guys saw me using in Chicago. I cannot find it and it's really making me upset. Okay, hold on. We got a little bit of a bend. What do y'all think? We got a little bit of a bend. The only thing is like when it's time to get it all organized and stuff. And then you want to comb it. Then you got to end up combing it out. Like the back finally looks bad and I have to brush it. But then when I brush it, I lose some of the waves. So it's like, what do you do? The downside is, is it's got to go right back up anyway, because I'm getting ready to go to the gym. So my method is just always kind of twisting it up a little bit and putting it in a claw clip. And that actually kind of helps a lot. That is not cute, but I kind of don't care. All right, let me put on some fragrance and a little bit to make sure. This is the Replica Mason Margiela Beach Walk. This is a scent. It's like a mini. I said I didn't care, but this is bothering me. But I also don't like that stringy, greasy look. So it's like stringy, greasy looking curls or nice put together look and just a hint of a bend at the end. It's like you gotta just pick which struggle you wanna take. Like I, I do like the little flip that it's doing. Like that's cute. I like the little flip. I think the problem, the main problem right now is just how oily my hair is. And I use dry shampoo like I've used some before I rolled it up last night. It helped a little bit, but it can only help so much. I'm gonna be grateful for greasy hair though because greasy hair means it ain't dry. Greasy hair is growing hair. It's also hair that needs to be washed. That's a little better. The only thing about my hair length is it's annoying because it's not like the length that's cute for a claw clip. Like it needs to low key be a little shorter. Let's see if we can. <laughs> We're just gonna call it a day, okay? Cause I'm sick of playing with this. All right, so I'm getting ready to go and get um, some Mexican food. And I just figured I'd show you guys what I'm going to be wearing. Uh, I just see this shirt because for some reason when it comes to a white button down, they're going to be wrinkly every single time. Um, but I'm thinking I'm wearing this on top. Hoping this will be cute, but I did kind of just want to wear like a skirt kind of look. But since it's in the middle of the week, I didn't want it to be too much. Come on. I wish it was summer because then like 
maybe not with this outfit but i do like the how the bra looks underneath here but i don't well actually it still kind of looks cute with like a little bit of the bra showing doesn't it i like that look hold on that's i don't even mean to do that but i do think since i have the lace right there i was going to originally tie this in the front but i think i'm just going to go ahead and tie it in the back since that's already kind of like distracting so let's see how this looks I think that's cute and then again like you could take it and do something like that but again that that adds a little bit of a distraction I don't know what kind of jewelry I want to wear is this giving silver or gold jewelry I feel like honestly it's giving silver but I just don't love wearing silver jewelry but I feel like I feel like that's what it's gonna be and that means I gotta take this gold bracelet off which I don't like doing because I don't have anybody to put it back on for me <laughs> tragic if i could even get it off it might be giving mixed metals today and i wasn't really trying to go for that i might have to just leave that there i don't feel like taking that off whatever i don't even care anymore um let's see and you can see my patience with things like that runs mad thin i should be losing stuff My legs hurt. I got me a good leg day in yesterday and it's starting to kick in too. Let's see. We might just keep it simple and just do this little ring then. Just not to do too much since um, the only silver necklace I can find is my J necklace. So I'm just not trying to do too much with the jewelry. That's, that's making me even more mad that I can't get this gold bracelet up. Because <laughs> why you got on a crystal whatever necklace and a gold bracelet that's just doing way too much and then we're going to wear i've been letting these rest a lot <laughs> um but we're gonna do the little bottega dupe earrings we're gonna wear these little flip-flops i've been pretty chill on those too so we'll bring them back out and then to tony bianco's and hopefully this is cute i don't know if i can go to the beach <laughs> And then we'll do the city bag. Let me look in the mirror. Oh. Okay, these flip flops make me look like I'm going to the beach. So these flip flops are not going to work. BRB. All right, so here is the OOTD. What do we think? So I changed the shoes because the flip flops were just given too much beach. Like, the only thing about living in the South, again, is the weather like it's late october at this point and i'm dressed like this <laughs> so it's like you want to wear fall things but also you're gonna like fall out if you wear the fall things so just decided to go with this i think it's cute um and then yeah you can see the details of the little bra i love this bra it's so cute i've had it for years but i never really wear it and i just might have to use it to accessorize some more by the way i got my bracelet off i think it was y'all Y'all were watching me try to take the bracelet off and it was giving me pressure and I couldn't get it off. And then we did the little J necklace and the little silver ring like this. So cute. Love it. All right. Guys, so it is the next day. Well, technically the next night, the next evening. I'm just getting ready to go to bed. I'm trying to put my hair up and away for the night. I actually intended to take you guys with me today, but my plans got canceled. I just felt like it would have been something y'all would have enjoyed going with me for. But um, I actually, it's been rescheduled to, I want to say, like next Tuesday or something like that. So I'm just going to take you guys with me then. But I was supposed to have a book club meeting today. It's not my book club. It is uh, my friend Jalen's book club that she started with a few other girls. I'll give you guys like more details next week about it, like what kind of thing it is. But I was just excited to take y'all because... It would have been my second time going because I went last week for the first time to join them. And it was just a vibe. Like, it's always going to be a vibe when you get to link up with people who have things in common with you and similarities. And we actually had, like, similar book interests and stuff. So it's just nice to meet in person with people who like things like that. Um, but it is going to be better now that it's rescheduled because before we were going at night. And um, let me tell you... It was not giving like the traffic and it's probably not going to be great then either um because we're going to be going earlier in the day but yeah last week i got a taste of the nighttime like i want to say 
6 o'clock traffic on a Wednesday night and it was not cute. It was not pretty. So I think I actually would prefer to just be dealing with the daytime lunchtime traffic because at least it's not dark and then I don't get home late and stuff like that. So I definitely will take you guys with me next week. Actually, now I'm trying to figure out will I be here next week. Cause I think I did make maybe other plans for next Tuesday. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know y'all. I'm out here just trying to balance a social life, balance my job. It's a lot. That's why you guys spent so much time uh, in the apartment this week because I don't know, like being new to the city and hanging out with people, I've just been trying to really just spend the time with the people, like let people get to know me and stuff like that. And so, like, always having a camera with me. So, yeah, I hope you guys didn't mind, like, the at-home footage. Uh, I also, as you can see, I didn't purposely take a break from, um, like, home decor content. It's just that I don't really have any major updates right now. I do still need to finish my bedroom, which is why y'all haven't seen too much of that. Because um, it just looks a mess right now. <laughs> and it really is supposed to be the space that's supposed to be, like, your safe space. And mine is my even safe space right now. Honestly, my, my safe space is my living room and my kitchen at the moment. And my bathroom, because my bathroom eats, okay? Um, but yeah, it's going to be a long time, like I mentioned before, before the decor is actually just done done. Because I'm really just kind of taking the long route. But I think in the next vlog, you guys are going to get a lot more updates because I have a few more things that I've ordered. Like I've ordered a coffee table, which I love, and I think she's supposed to be here this week. So I'm going to pick up the vlog again, like in a couple days when all that happens. So you guys can check it out. So yeah, I guess, I don't know if I want to call them moving vlogs still because technically I'm not moving. So would you guys like understand if I called it like a weekly vlog and then just put in the title like we're working on apartment stuff? Like... Would that translate well, or would you just rather be calling a moving vlog? Y'all probably don't even care, so I don't know. Well, like, y'all probably just like, yeah, we care about the content, not the title. But I feel like sometimes titles can throw people off, so I guess that's why I'm curious. Whew. This straight hair is not gonna last me much longer, y'all. She's on her last leg. I'm trying with her, I really am. But the curls are gonna probably make a comeback within the next week. Um, but anyways, I just want to give you guys some updates, let you know what's going to be going on next week, let you know why I spent so much time in the house this week. It's not that I actually spent time in the house, it was just the camera spent a lot of time in the house. So, you know, sometimes as a creator, you got to do that. But I, I think y'all understand that. But anyways, I hope y'all did enjoy it. As always, hit the like button below. But yeah, I will see you next week. We have some fun activities planned for the weekend. Something a little different. So I'm excited to take you guys with me. I'm, I'm going to take y'all back out this weekend, okay? But anyways, love y'all so, so much. And I'll see y'all in the next vlog.